In this video, we'll learn how to create a line chart in Excel that updates automatically every time you put new data at the bottom. Updating manually Excel charts is a very dull task, takes a lot of time and it often leads to errors. So we really don't want that, especially when there is an easy trick that you can learn if you invest the next five minutes of your time and watch this video till the end. In this example, I'm using the Bloomberg terminal, so Bloomberg data, but it doesn't really matter where you get your data from because this trick will work with any data vendor that you use. First of all, I've specified the security for which I want to extract data. That is the standard and poor 500 total return index. The field that I want to pull from Bloomberg is the daily price. And I also have to specify the data range. So I want to extract the daily price from the last day of December 2019 up until the 1st of April 2020. So now I can put together my BDH formula. BDH stands for Bloomberg Data History and it allows me to pull from the terminal directly into Excel the daily price for each day in the data range that I have specified. Now let's plot the result into a line graph. But before we do that, let's format our range as a table. This is in fact the main trick. You have to tell Excel that your data is in a table because if we do so, Excel will understand that this is a dynamic range, a range that will change every time we add new data at the bottom and in that way it will be incorporated into our chart that will change every time we add new information. Since our table actually has headers, leave that box ticked. Now let's plot the graph. Select again the whole data series, uh, date and uh, last price and then click on insert and bidimensional graph. This looks all right, but we can make it better if we double click on the vertical axis. Let's change the boundary from 0 to 4000. You can see how this minor adjustment makes it so much better. It gives us a better idea of the drawdown in quarter one and in general of the overall range of variation of this series over time. Let's check now if this chart will actually um, automatically update um, because that's our goal at the end of the day. So let's go to the end date and let's change it from the 1st of April. Let's change it to the 1st of July, for example. If we do that, you will see that the chart actually updates um, and it will do so every time we change the end date. So if we want to change it to say, uh, the last day of August, we do that and the chart again automatically updates. The very last thing that I suggest you do, instead of hard coding the end date, put the Excel formula for today's date. That is equal today, open and close brackets. In that way, every time you're going to open this Excel file in the future, you will always have the most complete series and the most update information. I hope this video was uh, interesting and uh, useful for you. If you learn something like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Excel and Bloomberg related content. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.